Welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. Today I'd like to talk about change and how initiating change can make a difference to what we want to do next or uh, our future and how we want to how, how we want to approach it. Um, sometimes change can be seen as a scary thing um, driven by fear. It can also be seen as something that is badly needed because we're used to it doing something a certain way. And we just want something that is very different to what we have already. Um, when approaching when approaching change, it can be seen as this kind of scary thing where all oh, things are going to be different. I have to do things differently um, in order to make it. But I suppose the reasons that we want change is to kind of either take us away from something that we don't like or we're not happy with um, and to, to bring us into something better for ourselves or a different way of being that we, that we want and um, something that is, gives us motivation and kind of a willingness to keep on going. And it can be, you know, it can be sometimes quite hard to approach it, but it's easy as, or as hard as we want it to be really. Um, if we look at change as something kind of invigorating and new and exciting, you know, we can approach change in a very different way. We can approach it in a very kind of open way and excited way. And we really want to do it. We really want to kind of go for it. Um, if we focus on the bad things around change, uh, the fear of it, uh, the change of habits, the things that you have to give up. Um then that makes it significantly more difficult. So it is it is good uh, to have a good perspective or a solid perspective, a positive perspective on change as being um, a good thing for you that you want to do for yourself to better yourself. So you could want to learn something new. Um, you could want to change of career. You could want to, let's say, be more healthy uh, to lose some weight maybe. And initially, we have a lot of motivation towards that change. Um, usually, we really want to do it, and we kind of work work really hard at the beginning. And then, uh, gradually, we start to kind of go back into our old habits. And that's not where we want to be. Like, that's that can be a thing that happens automatically. You know, we're used to a certain way of doing things. Um, even in a work situation, we could be used to doing something the same way and to do something different and to go into a different role. Um, it can be, you know, it can be exciting. It can be a change. It can be a challenge. You know, if you look at something as a challenge <laughs> to challenge yourself um, and to want to challenge yourself and to want to see different ways of doing things and experiencing life. You know, it can be seen as a very positive thing that kind of adds to you and grows you uh, or adds to you and helps you grow. <laughs> um, one, one thing, you know, especially around people that, let's say, want to lose weight or want to improve their fitness, um, routine plays a lot into that, you know. Uh, results, you know, with, with a lot of things, it takes time to get results or to see results back. And to build up a habit of doing a certain thing or could it, no, I wouldn't say cutting out um, like what you're eating or I would say what you're kind of feeding better for your body. What's what you're nutritionally giving your body that is better than what was previous. You know, you're still feeding yourself. So your body will thank you for it. Um, it goes back to you know being your own best friend like you want to treat your best friend well uh, your best friend is yourself you know and by treating it well you're putting all the good stuff into it um, you're bringing it, bringing it out bringing it for walks like you would for children like you would if you had pets you know you want to see them um, be healthy and to, to exercise and that's what you're doing for yourself you're feeding yourself with all the good stuff, you know, um, and around around losing weight, for instance. So, I I would say what I what I use for myself, just for my everyday, I use a planner. Um, this is a Clever Fox planner. It's really good. 
if you look at this part down here, it has a list of habits. Uh, I know it shows it backwards there, but it's really good. You can mark what days of the week you're on and put a tick in it if you've completed it. So you make a list of different habits that you have in. So for if you want to change, um, let's say your exercise rituals, like if you can add it and walk here and then tick when you've done it, it's good to have something it's good to have something um, tangible that you can see that you're making progress with um, and with weight loss and fitness targets like to see muscle mass and to see um, to see weight loss takes time you know um, so <laughs> once you kind of start marking off the days that you're doing it's a really good ritual to get yourself into and to keep on doing it because it's over time where you'll see the difference and when it comes to time um setting targets so like you'd have one big target let's say and this would go for anything um it can even go for a new job it can go for lifestyle changes i want to start doing this but i want to complete have it you know done by by then <clears throat> usually a good target is like six months especially for for weight loss um i would say you know a year might be too big but six months is definitely doable and to set yourself goals weekly and when if you let's say we all have days where we don't want to do it that's fair enough but the days that you know uh we don't want to do and we're trying to push ourselves to do it to mark off mark it off uh the tick to put the tick on on the list is a really good incentive and the same goes for everything um and to, to set yourself targets for one month maybe or two weeks um actually i would say a weekly target and then a two-week target and then a month target uh, which are which are overall goal in mind you know um and if you don't reach that target within the month that you want to you know don't be too hard on yourself you still have you have another month to try and reach that and then maybe you're still your big target is still six months ago away so you can you know push yourself harder for the next month and same goes for for business plans and um, for career changes for you know if you want to change different things in your lifestyle what, what you want to add you know you might want to do i don't know take up dancing you might want to do like cookery classes and um, to get so far with the cookery class and then move on to something new after after um going so far with it you might want to do an online course you know and to have let's say success of habit habits on your plan is good to have multiple things rather than just one um if we focus so hard on the one thing that we're doing yeah that's that's great but we also need a little break from it so it's good to have different habits or different skills that we're working on simultane simultaneously but also to distract us from the main one, you know, um, and to have like lots of let's lots of healthy things rather than you know let's say you just go for your run, you come back in, um, or you go for a long walk, you come back in, then you just watch TV. If you have something else around that uh, that you learn that is adding to you, like you take up knitting. Um, you can do origami, for instance, or something like that, and just add different things every week. It just makes it more interesting and more exciting. Um, you could go different places. You could try different types of healthy foods, uh, different types of recipes just to make it more interesting and try and challenge yourself. And that's what you're doing. You're challenging yourself. You're seeing, you're trying to create a better version of yourself by challenging yourself. And at the start, it can always be difficult, you know, especially when we stop or if we don't see the results that we want. But the results are always kind of, you'll always see them long term rather than short term. Um, and that's when you'll see the bigger differences. And then you can compare to where you are in six months and uh, looking back to where you were the six months previous. And you will see a bigger difference, you know, rather than looking weekly to weekly. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good tip in trying to sustain change in your life. Looking, looking at it as something exciting and new and a new version of yourself that you can be proud of. And that's what you're creating. You know, you're never too young or too old to try these things. Um, and it's what makes life exciting. 
you know, different versions, different versions of different things rather than staying stagnant and letting things kind of stay the same for so long that you don't have many memories of the change in between. It's the, it's the change and the differences that creates the best memories. So that's what you want to create for yourself. Really good memories and you challenging yourself to be the best version of yourself. And you can totally do it. You can totally do it. Anyway, um, if you want more information about me, um, my website is www.thomasbrowncoaching.com. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. And I'm on YouTube. <laughs> um, yes. And if you want me to discuss anything, um, just throw it in the comments and I'll give it a go. And please like and subscribe. And if you don't mind sharing, that would be great. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. And I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye bye.